Hi, thanks for tuning in today. We're going to do something a little bit different with the channel. We're going to do a review of the Brompton bicycles and how they fit into small airplanes. We're not sponsored by Brompton. They didn't provide us with a couple of bikes. We purchased these bikes ourselves, so we're not implying any sponsorship. Just want to go over the uh, reasons we purchased them and why we think they're great for small airplanes. The reason we started looking into folding bikes for the airplane is that once you get to the airport, Unless what you want to visit is located right at the airport, you've got to find another means of transportation. We thought this was a great way to venture off the airport grounds and get a little exercise while we're at it. So why Brompton? For us, it was really three main things. Rideability, weight, and size. With the number one factor being size. If the bike's not going to fit into our small airplanes, well, it really doesn't matter what its weight or rideability is if you can't bring it to your destination. The Bromptons are about 22 inches tall and about 22 inches wide. About 10 inches front to back or depth, whatever you want to call that dimension. And they weigh about 26 pounds. There are lighter models. If you wanted to pay up for the titanium package, it could take off a couple of pounds. But 26 is a good number to work in your weight and balance. Lots of reviews out there that say that the small wheel bike rides like a big wheel bike. I've had the GPS tell me that we've been doing 25 miles an hour on these. You're really pedaling pretty good. You're going downhill with a little bit of gravity, but you're traveling fast and it doesn't feel squirrely or uncomfortable at all. It's a comfortable bike. The seat's got a good cushion on it. There's other options and I'm sure you can get a gel pad if you want. Next is the fold. So here's our plane, Piper Cherokee PA-28. Our Piper baggage door is not as tall opening as the bike is tall. So we do have to turn and wiggle to get them in. The first bike goes in really easy by instead of having to try and put it in just this way, turning it to its side and passing it through the door very easy. The trouble comes with the second bike. Once the first bike is in there, it presents a block to having this bike pass in sideways. So you've got to do a little bit of wiggle and turn to get the second bike in, and then they fit with plenty of room for even another small bag. And then putting this one in like this, and then straighten each one out. One thing I might suggest is putting a towel or a blanket in between the two bikes. As you fly, you're gonna get a little bit of this. You're gonna get a little couple of scratches. I've already got a couple on mine. Obviously, if you hit big turbulence, that would be more of a factor, but we're flying on VFR days, and we just need to put something in here just to stop that little bit of motion. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have experience with Brompton bicycles, please comment below. If you have experience with folding bikes in general and airplanes, please comment below. If you saw something we did or didn't do, if you have some tips or tricks, that would be helpful for us and for everybody else watching. Please comment below. We'll read all of them. We'll comment back and I'm sure the information will be helpful to others watching the video. We appreciate you taking the time and thank you. So the last little piece of this equation is Daisy. We've got the bikes loaded up in the plane. We're ready to fly. We're going to hop in and go somewhere. We want to bring our little girl with us. It's got to be a trailer that's going to hook up to our bikes, trailer behind us with the dog, and collapse down, most importantly, and fit inside our small planes. If you have any ideas, any experience with these kind of trailers, leave a comment below. It would be much appreciated for us and other people watching the video. Thanks.